Hello there. Hope everybody's doing great on this Thursday. Welcome back to another episode of Lunchtime with the Dealmaker. Been a while, y'all. Been a while. Been traveling up and down the road. My daughter's been dancing. Um, turkey season's in. Been turkey hunting about every morning if I can. Um, tried to this morning, but couldn't because of the rain. I, I attempted to, but, you know, that was a waste. Anyway, I just want to jump on here real quick and make a quick video about um, South Carolina baseball. You know, South Carolina baseball is like a roller coaster, kind of like football, to be honest. We go out, we lay an egg against Clemson. Then we lay an egg against Ole Miss. Then we come out and sweep Vanderbilt, one of the most historically known national baseball teams over the past decade. I just don't understand it. But, you know, I, I, there again, I guess the consistency is what throws me off. And then in the press conference afterwards, the Cromer kid is sitting in the back with sunglasses on like a bodyguard. I mean, I don't, I don't get this. I, if it's a, if it's a college kid joke and it's what they want to do to entertain themselves, okay, I can understand that. But on national television, y'all, it's kind of laughable. I think. I don't think it's very professional, in my opinion. But congratulations. So far, South Carolina baseball looks like you've turned the corner a little bit. Other than you gave up a lot of point, a lot of runs defensively the other night against a no-name team. But anyway, I still hold a little bit of faith. A little bit of faith. I, I want to get frustrated, but you, you got to have faith. As a Gamecock fan, you always have faith because there's not a whole lot to cheer about. Unless you're talking about women's basketball or, heck, men's basketball this year. But... I don't know John, um, if y'all heard this, but Josh Pate did an interview with Shane Beamer, and he did an interview with Mac Brown. And I find this very intriguing. And what I find, he did a very good job. If, if y'all hadn't seen the interviews, please go to his, his channel. I think it's Late Kick with Josh Pate or something like that. Um, watch the interviews. You know, he's interviewing Shane Beamer, and Shane Beamer talks about uh, going to dinners and all with the fundraising guys and um, you know, how much that has in, evolved into the sport of college football. And and he's right. He's right. But yet, when Mac Brown is being interviewed, he says something almost completely opposite. That, yes, it is a part of the world, but NIL is, you know, people run around talking about how much money they make. He said, well, they truly don't make that amount of money. They truly don't. He said, in fact, that the matter is them, you know, not participating in bowl games, he doesn't understand because they are making a little bit of money and they do have insurance policies. And, you know, to him, they don't care if they don't show up and do everything they're supposed to do. But to Beamer, he's flying across the country with donors. So I'm confused. Maybe it does need to be regulated. Maybe we all need to have clarity of NIL and what's really going on and how much money these players are making. Not that anybody wants to know what I'm making or what you're making. That's not what I'm saying. But as fans, I think we need to have an understanding because we hear stupid figures, two, three, four, five million dollars for a kid to get recruited out of high school to go to a certain college. I, I, I think that's a bit asinine, personally. Um, I, I don't think that, that those numbers are, are legit, to be honest. I, I really don't. I think Mac Brown said just as much. Um, but again, it's not the kids' problem. Um, it's an us problem. You know, the adults. I mean, we're the ones that pass this. We're the ones that beg for it. We're the ones that watch college football, and they are the product. The, the, the kids, the players, they are the product. But we started all of this. Uh, we really did, as fans. And, and we're guilty of it now because I donate to it. I'm not sure if y'all do. But so, you know, I'm just as guilty as anybody else. But... You know, a lot of clarity um, would go a long way here. Anyway, let me eat my sandwich and get on back to work on this rainy day. I hope y'all have a great day. Jordan Dealmaker, please like, comment, subscribe. Y'all have a good one. Thank you.